plan. But let's uh, get uh, back uh, to this conversation about the FKF uh, Center of Excellence. And yes, we have been told this is a study room and this is where these young boys always uh, get uh, to be given the education need in their life. I will engage uh, with some of them. Uh, there is something that I've been able to notice. You can see when you look at the machines, it will tell you that they love the game. Uh, just by looking on the desktop there. On this other one, I know you will see is, uh, uh, this one is studying how to make great videos. Maybe he has some uh, love for sports at the same time. He is enjoying and he wants to be a video editor. You really can't uh, tell. Uh, Akakoro football is uh, uh, the background on that uh, desktop. I know they never expected me to do that, but you can see what they're doing. Most probably, it tells you that they love the game. One here is on email, maybe sending a message to the mom or dad on the other side, but allow me to uh, start engaging them. Pengine uh, Niambie, what's your name? Uneza Keti, tell me what's your name and uh, uh, how is it to be part of this uh, uh, format? Uh, my name is Kevin Wanga, and it's good to be at the Center of Excellence because we have benefited in some of the skills at the ground and also in class. Um, we, have developed, we are developing together as a team and also being together here for two years, it's good because we develop as a team and we work hard together. We have that courage on the pitch and it's not easy at the class. At the first time it was not easy, but now we are catching on to the classes and now we are, we are doing well. Uh, probably, how, are, how do you balance playing the football and also uh, enjoying the studies, if you are enjoying the studies, that is? So after training, we just come here. Training is normally at 6.30. We come here, we take a shower, we take breakfast and come to class. It's not easy because when you get from training, you are tired. You think about how you start to shower and also that stuff. So it's not easy always, every time, but we manage. Uh, probably, let me ask you something about education. What exactly have you been studying? For, for how long have you been here to start with? Uh, we have been here for, this is the second year. So what exactly do you study for you as a, as a young person who's here and also loves to study and loves to play football? This is where your studies happen. What exactly do you study? So as, as me, I study Spanish, which the... Spanish team there in Europe, the, which they speak um, the, in La Liga, whereby we, we, maybe when you go there you can speak Spanish because it's not easy. Many of them, they don't know English, so you can manage to speak Spanish. Yeah. Apart from Spanish? Um, we learn maths, English, science, and French and Spanish, yeah. Yeah, so you can hear for him, he loves Spanish. Maybe he, he is an ambitious one. He wants to play in La Liga some years to come. We wish him all the best, and maybe that is why he's decided to do the Spanish, because language is always key and also very, very important. Let me also engage another one here. Uh, probably let me start. What's your name? And uh, tell me, how is it uh, at this excellence uh, point? My name is Teddy Sirma. Uh, I am 15 years old, and I'm playing for the national team. I'm grateful because uh, the Football Kenya Federation has helped us uh, in some ways, like uh, paying for our school fees to learn here, and also uh, helping us to continue with our ta with our talent that is football. Yeah, and we are so grateful. So, for you as a as a as a student here, and also as a young boy who loves to play football, tell me where do you see? yourself in the next 10 years in your footballing career? Maybe uh, it, does, it, it does not come easy, easily. Uh, we, it needs hard work, commitment, uh, so that you may reach there. But I think with this organization, uh, I may be far from now. Yeah, I may be playing for big teams like Real Madrid, Barcelona, yeah. Are you also one of them who is studying Spanish? I don't know. I'm a, I study French. French. Yeah. Uh, so when you think about the entire team that is here, because you are a group of 30 young boys and uh, boys actually who want to be great footballers and also have the best when it comes to education, how well will you say you know this team? Na uh, mezoyanaji. 
This is not the first time. Uh, this team started at 2017, yeah, until now. So we know we know each other, like how we play, how we talk, how we encourage each other. So yeah, this is a good motivation to other players who are who are outside, yeah, to help each other whenever they are. Yeah. When it comes to playing football, do you think you get the best? training and also coaching at this place yeah, yeah. we have a quality coach because uh, one he was uh, in 2016 he was the head coach of the harambe stars so and he did a good job so i think with us he'll also do a good job in the upcoming tournament yeah yeah, plenty of expectation here, yeah? plenty of optimism you can tell. And uh, these young boys, they do believe. And at most, uh, what they believe is that they will have what it takes to be able to be big wigs, not only here in the country, but across the globe when it comes uh, to playing uh, football. I know there is a lot of expectation, and we will be hearing from the uh, people who handle them exactly how easy is it to have uh, this uh, team. And when it comes to studies, I know it is more of a homeschooling kind of format, but how do we make sure that they get the best? Do we have some guidance coming from the parent? Do the young lads just uh, go to the system and they do what they love uh, doing? We're talking about the different uh, uh, examination curriculum that we have here in the country. Country, maybe it has a positive or maybe a negative impact on these young boys and, uh, who are at this particular uh, place, but we will let them decide and tell us what exactly is the reality when it comes to that. But at this particular time, I take a short commercial break, but when I come back, there is a plenty that we'll be talking about. And these young boys, they will be also helping me dissect some of the English Premier League matches that we'll be having on the cards today and also tomorrow. But first... We take this short commercial break. <laughs> 